Emma, a novel by Jane Austen, details the life and romantic machinations of Emma Woodhouse, a wealthy, clever, and attractive young woman living with her father in the village of Highbury. Unlike Austen's other heroines, Emma has neither the need to marry for financial security nor a particular inclination toward romance, stating she will never marry. However, she takes pleasure in matchmaking, having successfully paired off her former governess Miss Taylor, now Mrs. Weston. Emma's attention turns to Harriet Smith, a sweet but simple girl of unknown parentage whom Emma takes under her wing. Determined to improve Harriet's prospects, Emma discourages her from accepting a marriage proposal from Robert Martin, a respectable and honest farmer, believing Harriet is destined for someone of higher social standing. Emma then sets her sights on matchmaking Harriet with Mr. Elton, the local vicar. Simultaneously, two new characters enter Highbury society, Jane Fairfax, the accomplished niece of Emma's talkative neighbor Miss Bates, and Frank Churchill, the stepson of Emma's former governess, whom Emma has never met but is predisposed to like. The arrival of both creates interest and speculation in the village, with Emma feeling an initial rivalry with Jane due to her talents and accomplishments. Despite Emma's efforts at promoting Harriet to Mr. Elton, he reveals that he has actually been courting Emma, not Harriet. Emma is stunned and repulsed by the idea as she considers Mr. Elton below her station. His marriage proposal is swiftly rejected and their friendly relationship turns sour. Mr. Elton leaves Highbury, returning with a pretentious wife whom he had rapidly courted while away. The friendship between Emma and Harriet suffers following the failed match, but they soon reconcile. Meanwhile, Emma begins to enjoy the company of Frank Churchill, who finally visits Highbury after repeated delays. Frank is charming, and the two flirt, leading Gossip to consider them a budding couple. However, Emma remains unsure of her true feelings for Frank. At the same time, Mr. Knightley, her neighbor and a close family friend, often visits the Woodhouse residence. An upright and moral man, he watches Emma's matchmaking with a critical eye and often reprimands her behavior, particularly her influence over Harriet. Although there is mutual respect and affection between them, Emma and Mr. Knightley often engage in spirited debates. The novel takes a turn when a secret engagement is revealed. Throughout the story, Jane Fairfax had been receiving mysterious gifts and attention that raised questions about her situation. It eventually emerges that Frank Churchill and Jane have been secretly engaged, his attentiveness to Emma being a ruse to deflect suspicion from their relationship. This deception illuminates Frank's character and casts some of Emma's behavior in a poor light. Emma's mistakes in judgment begin to bear consequences, most notably when she thoughtlessly insults Miss Bates during a picnic at Box Hill, leading to a sharp reprimand from Mr. Knightley that causes Emma deep embarrassment and prompts her to apologize. The rebuke also awakens Emma to her own shortcomings and her feelings for Mr. Knightley, realizing she is in love with him. Harriet, who has again been misled regarding her prospects, this time believing Mr. Knightley to be interested in her, reveals as much to Emma. Emma is shocked and distressed until she figures out that Mr. Knightley's attentions were only brotherly. To her relief and joy, Mr. Knightley then proposes to Emma, admitting his love for her. She accepts and they become engaged, not only to each other's delight, but also to the approval of Mr. Woodhouse thanks to the concurrent marriage of Emma's sister Isabella's governess, which had softened his general objections to matrimony. In the aftermath of her own romantic conclusion, Emma seeks to right her wrongs with Harriet. She encourages the renewal of Harriet and Robert Martin's relationship, which results in their marriage. Harriet accepts her true social status and finds happiness with a man who has loved her all along, as the novel concludes, all misunderstandings are cleared up. Frank Churchill apologizes for his secretive behavior and his engagement to Jane Fairfax becomes public. Mr. Elton remains settled in his marriage, and despite initial pretensions, his wife is found to suit him well. Emma and Mr. Knightley's wedding is a joyful event, and their union brings a sense of harmony to Highbury. Emma matures through her experiences, understanding the value of caring for others and recognizing her flaws. The story concludes with the marriages of its main characters, reflecting the societal importance of wedlock at the time, 
and offering a happy conclusion to Emma's tale of misguided matchmaking and self-discovery. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.